on the golf course now Sergio Garcia. And his par three. Playing 178 yards today. Home location the back left boy that went in with some authority. He has birdie but so Morikawa for par. He's three up against uh, Sergio. Wow. And it was conceded. So Garcia chips into that lead. He's now two down going to 13. Sergio Garcia over the green in one. Today's whole location not quite as fearful as yesterday's. You're not going to hit it into the water from back there very often. It's gotten away from Sergio, but it's going to stay dry. Colin Morikawa, Garcia in the hole for par. This to win the hole. Nice putt from Morikawa. So the lead back to three after having gone to two on 12. Sergio Garcia, 14 second shot. He's in a big hole. It's earlier. <laughs> Shot as uh, stylish as the shades he's sporting right there. Yeah, putting for his birdie, a bit of a miscue from 101 yards, caught a little deep, now just coming from an awkward angle. Never got that high enough. There's a big slope coming off the left part of the screen, and it's hard to get it high enough. Yeah, I gotta feel like this is a must make for Sergio. Morikawa's really been strong in the ball striking category, so. Got to take this opportunity here. Oh, yes. Oh, there's that little fist clench. Quite a punch. But we have seen that, haven't we? So many times through the years. A big cut to this right hole location. Overcuts it, and oh, that's right up against uh, some of the native area. Not good. Sergio Garcia has to win the hole and get one down. Great putt back at 14. Did it again oh. here at 15. Sergio Garcia. That was more of a fist pump and a little hook of horns. <laughs> Sergio going up the hill now. Downwind. Let's see if he can get it out there. Big bounce. Oh, yeah, got it. Whoa. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I mean, that is Are you kidding me? Crushed. When did they pave that fairway, Steve? Wow. That is way, way at the 417 yards. Now, what will Kala Morikawa do after seeing that? the rollout too but as you saw it was caught up a little bit in that Bermuda rough. So compared to Sergio Steve if he hits it out there 350 what he shrimped it I mean man that is crazy. Huge opening here. Yeah no, he was three down at one point now he's just one down and with Morikawa missing to the right the advantage for Sergio here at 16. Just got to keep the ball on the putting surface he lands on the flat it has a chance to go over. Safe to the right, which is the smart line. Oh, that's a good shot. Just beyond the green. Well, Markov played his bunker shot short, still has about a good 10 or 12 feet left up the hill. Sizable putt for his four, and Garcia now set, settling in to try and convert this Eagle three and level out this match here. Coming downhill, should try and get away, but the wind is coming in his face, so gotta balance the two. Oh, trickles down the hill. Colomore Cow, you see he's one up, needs to tie the hole here and remain one up. Work 
Morikawa misses there. He won the first hole, had never trailed in the match at all, was always ahead, and now for the first time, he's back in a tie with two holes remaining. Sergio Garcia now all tied up in his match with Colin Morikawa. This just a moment ago at the par three. That's a good shot from Garcia there. And now we come live. Colin Morikawa. Jimmy, be curious to see what shot selection Morikawa does choose. Garcia hit a flat cut. Held it into the winds, a beautiful shot. He gets this turning over, not sure he can get it right of the hole. Looks like it's really blowing out there, you see. 13 miles an hour. Oh. Tried to hold it in there and just got hammered. Oh, wow. Let's see where that ends up. Yesterday, five balls in the penalty area. Today, none. Don't think it made it all the way over past the red line. Terribly disappointed with that. See where it ends up. Gets back into the bunker, which I'd imagine is probably the better option. Now, Colin Morikawa. This match is tied here at 17 here in Sergio. Room to work with. Morikawa looking a little left. Oh. Hated it early. It's going to be tough to do much better than that, so he will have a chance there for par, and we'll see if it matters. Sergio Garcia had been three down as recently as the 13th hole, but now an opportunity to birdie this hole, to take control in this match against Colin Morikawa. Enough, enough, not enough. Just really hasn't been on top of his game around the greens, Jimmy, but has made some big putts. Defeated McIntyre yesterday, two and one. Two majors, but his hands full here. That is clutch. Clutch putt from Morikawa. Yeah, forcing the issue with driver here. He's lost this out to the right. Now the wind has it, pushing it further right toward the trees. This could be problems. There's some rocks over there tumbling down. Oh, it gets hung up. Oh, dear. I think if it got past that last rock, it might have made it through that mulch area, but now he's going to have some serious issues over there. Oh, turns this down beautifully. What a good tee shot. Hill, and that's going to tumble all the way down okay. to the bottom. Yeah. Just going to make it into the dormant grass, but uh, certainly a good position. And a distinct advantage. Morikawa here over Garcia, 18th hole. Yeah, if he ends up losing this match because of this tee shot, he's really going to regret leaving that, for that last putt. And in short, it's just a matter if you can get that ball to check up on that second or third skip. Oh. Sit, sit. One there. Sit, go. Oh. Wow. <laughs> that is so good. You know, reminiscent in a way of what we saw Sergio do with Dinah. I like this shot uh, coming from the rough because he can land it on the lower level and it'll trundle up and on to the back level if he hits his spot. Go, go. And it's going to be rejected from the top shelf and come back. We haven't seen anybody hit a very good shot from down there, that portion of the fairway. A little Thursday tension in Austin. And Justin, I would have to say, in looking at both these putts very closely, uh, Garcia has the easier of the two putts only because Morikawa's angle as he comes up and on to that top level. The ball's going to want to push toward the back part of the green. But you're standing on a portion of the green that makes you feel like it wants to come hard right to left. So. Get there. Not quite enough. That was Jaws, guys. That was right in the middle. He just gave it another little more hit. 
this for a huge comeback win. That's a questionable one there. Whether he's going to give him the putt or not, it doesn't look like he's going to. Du duly noted for Rome in 2020. Yeah, maybe so. <laughs> this is, uh, no, that's, that's, that's outside. outside. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, needs, he needs to see that one. Yeah. No doubt about that one. Great finish for Garcia. Entertaining match. And it is a tie, so both. To watch another DP World Tour video, click here, and to subscribe, click here.